Yo, what's going on YouTube? Um So here we go again, you know, uh this whole thing that happened last year with the whole Deontay Wilder versus uh Alexander Povetkin and his promoter from um uh, I think he uh he owns a promotional company, it was the World of Boxing, Andre R Rabinsky, you know, uh the I guess the billionaire boxing promoter. You know what, you know, I mean, the dude probably has some negatives and stuff like that, but that's the guy you want in your corner. You want a fighter in your corner, you know what I'm saying? You do want a fighter in your corner, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> you know, even if it's to the fault, you do want a guy in your corner. And uh, Andre Rubinsky is, uh, uh, yeah, man, blood, sweat, and tears with uh, Alexander, Alexander P Povetkin. I don't know what he, the dude, his godfather, or what like that, you know, not not like any mafia stuff. I'm talking about, you know, as far as being related to him or whatever. But, uh, yeah, he really believes in Alexander Povetkin. You know, he support him all the way, man. He, I mean, he put he put up the money for that, uh, was that Vladimir Klitschko? fight, you know, he put up the money so they can have it in Russia and stuff like that, so uh Pavek can have a chance to shine, so, you know, I, I give him that, I give him that, but as far as uh, Pavekin and everything like that, you know, that was sad story, you know what I'm saying, but anyway, long story short, uh I guess they supposed to be showing up in New York, man, they supposed to be doing some kind of uh deposition, you know, uh, they supposed to be giving some uh, statements, I guess they're on the oath now. Uh, regarding uh, you know, these lawsuits they got, cause they, uh, one suing the other, and stuff like that over that failed drug test, and Rabinsky, he you know he he's counter suing, he's doing his thing. So, Luda Bella and uh, Wilder, they trying to get their money back. You know what I'm saying? Cause they wasted their time. I, I, you know, uh, I mean Luda Bella is uh. I mean, you got to think about it. I mean, he's a promoter and everything, but he's not paying for those camps and stuff like that. And if he is, he has every right to uh, sue. But, yeah, he lost out on money, too. Him and Wilder, they both lost out on money. So they're like, dang, like, man, you know, we lost out on a payday here. And um, they feel as if they should be compensated because the dude uh, violated the uh, terms of the agreement. And then I guess Rubinsky's probably going to make his argument saying, you guys violated the terms of the agreement because... You know, Sasha, you know, uh, only failed, what, one out of four drug tests and stuff like that. And I don't think it's going to come up that he failed in the drug test, you know, later on in the year or whatever like that. But he's going to probably make some kind of argument that he was clean. But, um, yeah, man, they, they're lawyers. I mean, they, they uh, but hopefully the lawyers, they... Not not hopefully, but, you know, I'm just saying, you know, hopefully the lawyers on both ends, you know what I'm saying, I'm picking his sides. But I, I would like Walter to go and get his money, you know, but because um, you can't, I mean, at the end of the day, you can't control what Pavekin puts in his body and stuff like that. And he did get the benefit of the doubt, I mean, but he, he blew it again. So it, it's, I mean, we, we know now that he's a, the dude's a drug cheat, you know what I'm saying? The dude's a drug cheat. Um, I will hope, you know, Vada, Underwater, whatever like that, the World Anti-Doping Agency ain't trying to stiff this dude, you know, Pavekin and stuff like that. But, I mean, that's two drug tests and stuff like that. You know, it's kind of cool. It's, it's kind of messed up, man. Like, you know, out of these two failed drug tests in a row that... It's like the second to the last drug test that he ends up popping hot. But it's like for two different drugs and stuff like that. So how do you keep explaining that? You know, the first one, okay. You know what I'm saying? They, the uh, the World Anti-Doping Agency, right along that, you know, Wavada that falls under the World Anti-Doping Agency and all these other agencies and stuff like that. You know, they didn't vet the whole uh, meldonium drug, okay, they didn't vet, vet it, but they knew they had to ban it, and, um, I guess a lot of box, you know, a lot of athletes were given, you know, some passes, you know, they gave a lot of athletes some, some passes, like, you know what, you're right, you know, we're gonna give you, uh, some time to get this out of your system and stuff like that, even some of the people who popped hot will, uh, you know, give us a little bit of leeway, but, um, 
outside of that, man, outside of that, he still failed a drug test. So, we, you know, and money was spent, you know, in these camps and stuff like that. Everybody lost some money um, uh, and the fight not happening. So I, I don't know if you guys want to pick size or whatever like that. Everybody lost out. Um, as for me, you know, I think Wilder sh- should be compensated at least for his losses. And if, I mean, you get, you got to think about it on the, the flip side, you know, where's the insurance companies in this, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> Wasn't everything insured, you know? So that's another thing. But then, then, then again, everything was put into, a, I believe, a trust or something like that. The money's supposed to be in some kind of trust. So, um, yeah, man, let me know what y'all think about that, man. Let me know what y'all think, man. Will the truth come out? Because they're on the oath, you know, they, they're doing depositions or whatever, whatever like that up in New York. Uh, up in January, okay, uh, January this year, man. This is uh, posted up on Boxing Scene um, not too long ago last week. Y'all let me know what y'all think, man. I'll catch y'all later. Bye.